But now others in the online network had got much closer to unleashing mass slaughter. Mirsad Bektasevich was just 18 years old. His dream was to open and run his own Al-Qaeda franchise. Bektasevich was forming a small terrorist cell in his hometown, Sarajevo. Just like Harris Ahmed in America, he was looking for a way to turn internet fantasies into bloody reality. This is one of the big limiting factors. You're talking about guys that are 17, 18, 19 years old, you know. Sure, they can express a willingness to blow themselves up, and sure, they can talk about Al-Qaeda, and sure, they can access Al-Qaeda media, but where are the bombs? Where are the explosives? You know, otherwise, this is all tough talk. But Bektasevich was different. Bektasevich had a means to get explosives. One of the things that makes the Sarajevo cell different from most of the other Al-Qaeda-related cells is that it didn't have to rely on homemade explosives. And that was because all around here, in the woods and the mountains, there were plenty of ready-made explosives that had been left over as a result of the war. Try to see if we can have more money, because I have, dear brother, praise to God, found some really good things, you know. These good things were guns and explosives sold to him by a man who worked in this halal chicken restaurant. Tarsevich was almost ready to act. But first he wanted to let the world know that he meant business. He trekked miles into the hills outside the city to a remote cottage where he narrated this chilling video. Allah Akbar. Here the brothers are preparing for the attacks. Just 18 years old, but in possession of an incredible arsenal of guns and explosives. This weapon is going to be used against Europe, against those who has have their forces in Iraq and in Afghanistan. But unknown to Bektasevich, the police were onto him. And just a few days after he recorded this video, they made their move. Bektasevich and his accomplices were arrested at his aunt's house in a Sarajevo suburb. When the police raided the apartment at number 71, they found inside almost 20 kilograms of ready-made explosives, consisting of nitroglycerine, TNT, and ammonium nitrate. They also found a bag, and inside the bag was a suicide belt, already made up with three sticks of explosives. Bektasevich was one man within a larger network. And you know, you start looking at Bektasevich and suddenly you realize how big this network is.